Hi YouTube, this is your girl Ebony Butterfly coming at you with a makeup for beginners. And in this video I'm going to talk about brushes, NYX, hip, black radiance, Revlon, all the new stuff that a beginner wants to know. But for drugstore. Because the last one was Mac stuff. This is drugstore slash internet type thing. First I'm going to start with brushes, which is a most ask question what kind of brushes do I use and I use all kind of brushes first I'm going to start off with Sonia Kashuk by Target with my favorite Sonia Kashuk brushes and they are the eyeliner brush if you're a beginner this is a must have because you can pop that eyeliner right on with this brush I still use it sometimes um, this is an eyeshader, eyeshader brush that I pack the color on with. This is just as good. It's a Sonya Kashuk. It's on a Target. Um, my fluffy brush. You know, y'all know I love this brush. Every video, I'm pulling this brush out. It packs. It covers a lot of area. It's just a real good. I like this brush. So this is one of my favorites by Sonya Kashuk. And I love the blending brush as well. So when you're trying to blend out color in that crease. Here you go. This little puppy does the job. And I don't know people who have MAC brushes that really, really care about this brush big time. And I have two of these. Um, and I like their pencil brush. You know, like when you put your eyeliner on and then you want to go over it with powder. Perfect. This little pencil brush. And I know MAC makes the pencil brush as well, but I like this one. Um, okay. Now we're going to talk about the Eco Tools, which I still like Eco Tools, but I use, I'm just going to show you the main ones that I use. And that's this angle brush. I like their angle brush, and that puts on liner as well. But, um, this is a concealer brush. I still use it for color on the top of the eye. Um, for, it's by Eco Tools as well. It's sold in the set. And this is in the set. And I bought this foundation brush separately. It's really soft. When I use a brush, I use this to put my um, foundation on. But mostly I use my hands. Yeah, I know. Because with your hands, you can get more into crevices. And also, Sonia Kashuk makes a sponge that does that can get into the small corners. But I like my hands because my hands warm the makeup up. You know, like with my hands, my makeup gets warmed up. So it melts a little bit. And that's why I, yeah, I use my hands. Clean hands. Now we're going to get into the shadows that I would get by hip. This is called Charged. And on this one, it looks like Amber Lights to me. This color is real pretty. It looks, it's familiar to Amber Lights and that's familiar to Coppering. So you're always going to need a black. I don't care what line you use. It has this one called Platinum. It's the black and the silver. You can use both and it makes a beautiful smoky eye blue I chose magnetic and I used this the other day like it it's a light blue and a dark blue you have both this can do an eye a blue eye a very pretty blue eye so I like this one gilded real pretty real basic love both the colors okay it's called shady and I like it a lot too because of that matte brown you could do a lot with that matte brown. So I really like that. And that light color is very neutral. So this is a good one to get too. Greens. I know everybody's not a fan of green. But this one reminds me of Sumptuous Olive. And this one is called Shot. Okay. It's a real good one. I have quite a few NYX colors. But I had to kind of narrow it down to what I was going to show you guys because I know this is for beginners. And I'm not saying buy all this makeup. I'm just suggesting things that I like. Um, and this matte black by NYX is one of the ones I would get if I was starting out. Rust. It puts you in the mind of Cranberry by MAC. Charcoal. Real pretty. Real pretty gray color. Um, dark brown by NYX was on the list as well. That's a good one. Walnut is a good one. It's more of a sumptuous olive color called Luster. It's really nice. Um, whew, my favorite one. Space. It's real pretty blue. I like this one a lot. Beginner. I say must have. Golden. 
you must get this one this reminds me of an amber lights as well real pretty prune believe it or not this is like a purplish color but it's not purple it's kind of like a subtle color so if you just want a tit tiny bit of color this prune will do the job it's real pretty um africa on my videos i use rule i use orange for that highlight color perfect this is what africa would do um if you just want to have green there are several greens out there landscape is one it's real bright green which i don't have and this one kiwi which i love put this with black anytime you wear a bright color and you're scared of it put it with black because black will kind of smoke it out and it won't be as bright in your face oh and for a highlight champagne it's real pretty and I'm cheating because I have an extra one called Frosted Flakes. That's pretty too. It's a pretty highlight. Okay. Now we're moving on to Revlon. And the only thing I have from Revlon is these palettes. And this one is called um, Wild Orchid. It's real pretty. With these, I use them like paint pots. I put them on my eye to prime my eye. It gives the shadow something to stick to. And as far as drugstore, if you're not going to buy Too Faced, which is probably $15, or Urban Decay, which is around the same price, um, the next best, best thing is this and your concealer. So, if you're not, not going to spend the money, this is what I would say get. Um... Which I like Too Faced and I like um, Urban Decay. They're both good. Equally good. This one is one called the Pink Petals. And when you do a lot of neutrals and purples, this gives you your neutrals and your purples. So, see? So, I would definitely get this one and I would get the nude or the nude one. Now I'm going to talk about concealer. Concealer is a preference, preference, preference. The concealer that I use that is non-MAC is Black Opal. And not because it's the best or the greatest. It's just one of the ones that I use that's not MAC. Um, blushes. I don't have that many blushes that are non-MAC. But I did have two Black Radiance ones that I will pick up from time to time. This one is in Soft Honey. And it's more of an orangey color. It's a very, very pretty color. I like it. It gives you a touch of color. This one is in Plum Sorbet. And it's by Black Radiance. Two other things that I would get if I was a newbie is these pencils. NYX pencils in sl Slate. And an NYX pencil in Milk. Yeah. And the reason why people use the NYX pencils is to prime the eye with the color. If you think of primer as in paint... Like if you want to paint a wall red, you prime it pink. That's so the color can adhere and you don't have to put as many coats of red on there to get red. So that's why people use white. If I prime my eye white and I put a light blue or green, the color is going to pop because it has something to adhere to. And it's not trying to do an overtone on my brown skin. It's like not competing with my skin, if that makes sense. That's why people use primers. Um, that's why we use those clear base primers. They help make the color pop. But these will make the color pop more. So if you're using a dark color. I would say go with a darker color. Or if you're using a light bright color. I would say go with white. That's why we prime our eyes. I would say Coastal Sense is a good place to start. It gives you a lot of color. You can practice with it. And it's cheap. I think it's like $21. I don't know if they went up. It was $19.99. But it's like like 20 under 25 dollars and this is the neutral palette by coaster sense again it's affordable it's a good price if you are a neutral girl this is the must-have palette i went through brushes blushes concealers foundation is always a preference you pick whatever foundation you like lipstick color what do you like your lips to look like um i'm just gonna do a separate lips video so i'm not gonna do that here but tell me if anything I said was helpful. Um, I enjoy talking to each one of you. Please rate and subscribe. And let me know what you think. Bye-bye.